Hi there, this is Robin Kay, and today we're at the Henry V. Plant Museum, located on the campus of the University of Tampa. When you get a look at this building, it just wows you right away. In 1891, this building behind me operated as the Tampa Bay Hotel. It was built and owned by the railroad magnate Henry Plant for two and a half million dollars back in 1888 when tourism was not yet a concept here in Tampa. This Moorish or North African architectural theme was selected by Mr. Plant because of its exotic appeal to the widely traveled Victorians who would be his primary customers. The price for a room ranged from $5 to $15 a night, and at the time the average hotel in Tampa charged $1.25 to $2. This hotel had 511 rooms, some of which were actually suites, consisting of between three to seven rooms, and they were the first in Tampa to have electric lights, telephones, and an elevator. One of the unique features of the hotel at the time was its electric lights. Henry Plant actually had to build a power plant on the grounds of the hotel because there was no power in Tampa. And when you come to the museum, you get this experience of stepping back in time. During its operating period, the hotel housed thousands of guests, including hundreds of celebrities and politicians. Interestingly enough, Babe Ruth signed his first baseball contract in the Grand Dining Room. And according to local legend, he hit his longest home run ever at the old Tampa Fairgrounds Stadium, located right here on the hotel grounds. The room that I'm standing in is the writing and reading room. And this is where the men would have come to sit and read the newspapers from the time and send telegraphs back to their family and business associates. Because when you stayed at the Tampa Bay Hotel, you just didn't stay for a couple days. It would have taken you a couple days to get here by train. So you stayed here for weeks on end. There's a ton of history here. And one of the more interesting attractions is at the entrance. Take a look at this fountain commissioned by Margaret Plant in 1899 after her husband's death. She called it transportation, and it reflects trains and ships, which was the core of Henry Plant's work. You will see magnificent furnishings and beautiful artwork from the Victorian period. Henry Plant and his wife Margaret went to Europe and filled 41 railroad cars with furnishings for the hotel. Most of the pieces here are those pieces that they purchased. This is Robin Kay reporting from the Plant Museum in Tampa, Florida.